All right, today I'm gonna to do a real quick how to solder lesson. Wear your safety goggles and be careful with the soldering iron. All right, I got two pieces of wire that I wanna to stick together. First, you need to strip some insulation off so you have bare wire exposed. Look at your wire and see if it has any writing on it. This one says 18 gauge. So you can go to your wire strippers, find the 18, and then you put your wire in that slot. Squeeze down on it and then pull the wire out. You only want to do a little bit at a time. I like to go about half an inch and then if you need any more, you cut a second cut. If you cut too far down, you risk pulling some of the wire up and out and then you ruin the core of the wire. And then I've got this other wire. I'll do the same with it. If your wire doesn't have any writing on it to tell you what the gauge is, then you can kind of just eyeball it. Try to go for bigger than you might think, which would be a smaller number. This took some wire with it. That means we actually went too small. If you take wire off like this, you wanna cut the rest of the wire off. Maybe over something that won't make a mess. Give it another go. Go with the next size up and just work a little harder at it. There we go. The first one I'm gonna show you is a temporary solder. And if you do the second one that I show you, it's a stronger joint, but it's much harder to take apart. So I've stuck the two wires next to each other. I haven't twisted them together or anything. So clean off the tip of your soldering iron. There's gonna be fumes, so make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area. Grab your resin core solder. It comes in different sizes, so you'll get a sense of what you wanna use for which kind of repair. I'm tinning the tip right now. Got a little bit of solder on it. Actually, that's a little too much, but we'll go with that. It'll work its way into the splice and There we go. All right, that's a real quick splice. See, I'm giving it a tug and it still stays together even though the wires are not intertwined at all. I use this for prototyping. If I need to get this wire apart, I just heat it up and it comes apart super easy. I'm gonna cut the end off. Gonna make two new tips. Put these wires together, twist them around. See, they kind of hold themselves together on their own but you still need to put solder on that to make sure it locks itself in place. So I'm gonna put these on our helping hands here. Tin the tip again. And let's get this worked into here. All right, let's do that one more time, but with a bigger gauge wire. This stuff is 12 gauge wire. Get it started. There we go. Let's test these out. Yeah, that's not coming apart. Now let's inspect these solder joints. This one right here has a little bit of a blob on the end here. It's just a little bit too much solder. I probably could have quit a little sooner. The bending on this is all right. See, it'll bend right here. It's not super bendable because the solder has wicked up the wire that far up until about here. And depending on what you're working on, that's acceptable. There's a little bit of insulation melting going on right here. Notice I had a little bit of that on this one too. Thicker wires are tricky because you have to spend more time on them to fill that wire up with solder, but the heat travels down the copper and starts melting the insulation like it did on here. Let's see how it does for twisting. Ah, oh, yeah. That's not too bad. That solder found its way about the same distance down this wire too, it's about here. If you let the solder get too far down the wire, you end up with like this three inch long wire piece that's solid and will not bend. In some areas, you don't have a whole lot of room to work, so you definitely want flexible wire. Try to be in there just long enough to get the solder in the joint and then pull the heat away. I'm gonna try to make a real nice looking one for you now. Here's the two wires, put them together, twist. They're both pretty clean. Get that tip tinned. I 
There we go. It's a pretty nice one right there. And it's flexible at the ends. For one last thing, I'm gonna put heat shrink on it for you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.